Welcome to the ultimate guide on six move workout that sculpts your chest, triceps, and shoulders in 20 minutes. In the world of fitness, the key to a successful workout lies in its specificity. It's not just about breaking a sweat, but about focusing on certain muscle groups to achieve the desired results. That's exactly what we're aiming for with this six move workout. Designed with precision and purpose, this routine is set to target your chest, triceps, and shoulders, three crucial areas that form the upper body's core strength. Picture this, six exercises, 20 minutes, and a workout that leaves you feeling stronger and more sculpted. Sounds good, right? Let's dive into what we're going to cover. First up, we have the bench press, a classic move that engages your chest and triceps. Next, we'll move on to the overhead press, an exercise that works wonders for your shoulders. Our third move is the barbell lying triceps extension, a targeted exercise to strengthen and tone your triceps. The incline dumbbell press follows next, emphasizing your upper chest and shoulders. The fifth move is the dumbbell lateral raise, a great exercise to isolate and work your shoulder muscles. And finally, we'll wrap up with the tricep pushdown, a fantastic move to round off the tricep workout. Prepare yourself for an intense, yet highly rewarding workout session. The first exercise in our list is the bench press. This classic move is a staple in any upper body workout, and for a good reason, it targets the pectoral muscles, or in simpler terms, your chest. Performing a bench press correctly is crucial to reaping the benefits and avoiding injury. Let's break down the steps. First, lie flat on your back on the bench. Your feet should be flat on the floor, creating a stable base. Grab the barbell with your hands, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. This is your starting position. Now, slowly lower the barbell towards your chest. It's important to keep your elbows at a 90 degree angle. Picture your arms as a strong pillar supporting the weight. Once the barbell is an inch or two from your chest, it's time to push back up. Use your chest muscles to drive the barbell skyward until your arms are fully extended. Remember, this is not a race. Control is key. The slower you lower and raise the bar, the more your muscles work. The bench press is so beloved because it's a compound exercise. This means it works multiple muscle groups at once, not just your chest. Your shoulders and triceps also get in on the action, making this a powerhouse of a move. In terms of benefits, the bench press builds upper body strength and mass. It also helps improve bone health, thanks to the weight-bearing nature of the exercise. But perhaps the most significant benefit is the boost in functional fitness. The bench press mimics movements you do in everyday life, like pushing a heavy shopping cart or lifting a child. Remember, the key to a successful bench press is to maintain the right form and control your movements. So take your time. Focus on your form and let the bench press work its magic. Moving on to the second exercise, we have the overhead press. This is a key, uh, a classic move that's going to help sculpt those shoulders, giving them that rounded, defined look we're aiming for. Not only does it target the deltoids, but it also works the triceps and upper chest, making it a fantastic compound exercise for your upper body. Let's break down the overhead press step by step. Start by standing tall with your feet shoulder width apart. Grasp the barbell with an overhand grip, your hands just slightly wider than shoulder width. The bar should rest on the upper part of your chest, close to your collarbone. This is your starting position. Now we're going to press the barbell upwards. Exhale as you do so, pushing the bar straight up until your arms are fully extended overhead. Keep your core engaged and your back straight throughout the move. It's important to note that the bar should move in a straight line up and down, not forward or backward. Once you've reached the top, it's time to lower the barbell back to the starting position. Do this slowly and with control, inhaling as you go. This part of the move is just as important as the lift, so don't rush it. You want to make sure you're really working those muscles on the way down as well. Remember, the overhead press is about controlled, deliberate movements. It's not about how quickly you can do it, but how well. So take your time, focus on your form, and make sure every rep counts. If you're a beginner, start with a lighter weight and work your way up as you get stronger. And as always, if you feel any discomfort or pain during the exercise, stop immediately and consult with a fitness professional. So there you have it, folks, the overhead press, a vital exercise for building strength and definition in your shoulders. 
Don't rush the process. Take your time to lift and lower the weights while doing the overhead press. The third exercise is the barbell lying triceps extension. As the name suggests, this exercise specifically targets the triceps muscles, the three-headed muscle at the back of your upper arm. Not only does it contribute to the overall strength of your arms, but it also helps to tone and shape them, giving a well-rounded appearance. Now let's dive into how to perform this exercise. First, you'll need a flat bench and a barbell. Start by lying flat on your back on the bench, feet planted firmly on the floor. Hold the barbell with an overhand grip, hands about shoulder width apart. Ensure your arms are fully extended above your chest. This is your starting position. Now slowly bend your elbows to lower the barbell towards your forehead. Imagine you're trying to draw a semicircle with the barbell in the air. It's crucial to keep your upper arm stationary, only your forearm should be moving. Once the barbell is near your forehead, pause for a moment. Feel the tension in your triceps. Next, use your triceps to extend your arms and bring the barbell back to the starting position. Be mindful of your movements. The key here is to maintain control over the barbell throughout the exercise, keeping a steady pace. Rushing through the movements won't do your muscles any good. Remember, it's not about how much weight you can lift, but how well you can perform the exercise. Start with a lighter weight and gradually increase it as your strength improves. This exercise is a potent tool for reinforcing your triceps. It helps improve your upper body strength, which is beneficial for other compound movements like the bench press or push-ups. Plus, it enhances muscular endurance, allowing you to perform daily tasks with ease. Ensure your elbows stay still and you're controlling the barbell throughout the movement. The fourth exercise on our list is the incline dumbbell press. This move, dear fitness enthusiasts, is a compound exercise that targets the upper part of your pectoral muscles while also engaging your deltoids. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of performing this exercise correctly. Start by setting your bench to an incline of about 30 to 45 degrees. You don't wanna to go too steep as that would shift most of the work to your shoulders and we're aiming for a well-rounded workout here. Once you're all set, lie down on your bench with a dumbbell in each hand. Position the dumbbells at shoulder width and ensure your feet are firmly planted on the floor. This is your starting position. Now, with a controlled motion, push the dumbbells up until your arms are close to being fully extended. Remember, it's not about locking your arms at the top, but about the push. This is where your chest muscles come into play. As you exhale, begin to lower the dumbbells back to the starting position. Don't rush this part, the slower, the better. A slow, controlled descent engages your muscles more and increases the effectiveness of the workout. It's important to remember that the incline dumbbell press is not just a lift and lower exercise. Every movement should be deliberate and controlled. This exercise is all about the push and pull, the exertion and the release. Now a quick pointer. While performing this exercise, think about pushing the weights upwards by squeezing your chest muscles, not your arms. This is a common mistake many make. Your arms are merely the vehicle. Your chest muscles are the engine driving this exercise. The incline dumbbell press is a fantastic way to sculpt your upper chest and shoulders, and it's a great addition to any workout routine. Give it a try, and you'll begin to feel and see the difference in no time. Focus on pushing the weights upwards by squeezing your chest muscles and not your arms. Remember, in the world of fitness, form is always more important than numbers. So get out there and press on. Our fifth exercise is the dumbbell lateral raise. This move is an excellent way to target and isolate the shoulder muscles, specifically the deltoids. It's a perfect addition to any upper body workout and can help enhance the definition and strength of your shoulders. Let's break down the dumbbell lateral raise. To start, you'll want to stand straight with a dumbbell in each hand. Your feet should be shoulder width apart and the weight should rest at your sides with your palms facing inwards towards your body. Now, while keeping a slight bend in your elbows, raise your arms out to your sides. Be mindful not to use your body to lift the weights. This is a shoulder exercise, so let those muscles do the work. Continue to lift the dumbbells until they are level with your shoulders, forming a T-shape with your body. Hold this position for a moment. Really feel the burn in your shoulder muscles. This is where the magic happens. 
as you're isolating and working those deltoids. Then, slowly lower the dumbbells back down to your sides, maintaining control over the movement. Repeat this process for your desired number of reps. As with all exercises, form is key. Don't rush. Take your time to ensure you're performing each rep correctly. And remember, it's not about the weight you lift, but how you lift it. The dumbbell lateral raise is a fantastic exercise for sculpting and strengthening your shoulders. It's a move that can be done anywhere, whether you're at the gym or in the comfort of your own home. Plus, it's easily adjustable to your fitness level by simply changing the weight of the dumbbells. So next time you're looking to add some variety to your upper body workout, or if you're just wanting to target those shoulder muscles, give the dumbbell lateral raise a try. It's a simple yet effective move that can help you reach your fitness goals. Remember to keep your torso still and lift the weights to your sides until they're parallel to the floor. The final exercise in our six move workout is the tricep pushdown. As we embark on this journey of sculpting our upper bodies, Let's delve into this exercise that specifically targets the tricep muscles. The tricep pushdown, a popular effective move, is all about making those triceps work and giving our arms that toned, strong look we all desire. To perform the tricep pushdown, you'll need to be near a high pulley machine. Stand upright, grasp the handle with an overhand grip, keeping your elbows close to your torso and your feet shoulder width apart. This will be your starting position. Now, the magic begins. Without moving your upper arms, push the handle down, extending your arms and using your triceps to power the movement. Be mindful of your body through this movement. This isn't about speed, but rather control and precision. As you lower the handle, pause slightly at the bottom of the movement. This is where those triceps are really working. Hold that position for a moment, feel the burn, and then gradually return to the starting position, resisting the pull of the cable as you go. That's one rep. This move is all about the triceps, but it also engages your core, helping you maintain stability as you push the handle down. It's a beautiful blend of strength and control, a dance between exerting force and maintaining form. Remember, proper form is crucial in this exercise. It's not about how much weight you can push, but rather how well you can engage your triceps throughout the movement. Keep your elbows close to your body and push the handle down until your arms are fully extended. That's the tricep push down, the final, but by no means the least, in our series of six moves that are going to help sculpt your chest, triceps, and shoulders. Let's keep pushing, keep moving, and most importantly, keep growing. There you have it. A simple yet effective workout that targets your chest, triceps, and shoulders. We've journeyed together through six powerful moves, each with its unique benefits and focus areas. Just to recap, we started with the bench press a classic compound exercise that's a foundation for chest development. Then we moved on to the overhead press, which is great for strengthening your shoulders and improving upper body stability. Our third move was the barbell lying triceps extension, a fantastic exercise for isolating and building those triceps. Next, we introduced the incline dumbbell press, which not only works your chest, but also engages your shoulders, offering a two for one benefit. Our fifth move, the dumbbell lateral raise, specifically targets the shoulder muscles, helping to create that desirable V-shaped upper body. Finally, we ended with the tricep pushdown, an excellent move for further enhancing your triceps and giving your arms that sculpted look. Each of these exercises brings something unique to your workout routine, helping you to build strength, improve muscle tone, and increase your upper body mass. And the best part, you can complete this workout in just 20 minutes. Time efficient, effective, and versatile, this workout is a fantastic addition to any fitness regime. So are you ready to take the first step towards a stronger, more sculpted upper body? Which move are you planning to try first? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, consistency is key to seeing results. Don't be discouraged if progress seems slow at first. Keep at it, and you'll soon start to see the fruits of your labor. Happy exercising.